Hello and welcome to the Scrapple channel. Today, I want to show you guys my brand new favorite game of 2018, PC Building Simulator. Now you may be asking, Scatterbolt, what's up with the new setup? What's up with the lighting? What's up with the game you're about to show me? Well, I'm taking time out of my day right now before school to show you guys what I personally believe this game will be a huge factor in getting so many of you guys who are not confident enough with building your first or your next gaming PC and simply bridging that confidence gap and making it really easy or in this case, a lot more familiar with building your next or your first gaming PC. Which is why I'm so hyped to quickly bring you this video before school starts up. Here is PC Building Simulator. I got in contact with them. The people who developed this game are Irregular Studios or Irregular something. But anyways, I'm gonna quickly go ahead and show you guys the meat of this game and why I believe it's gonna be really good for the PC building community. But uh, you know, before we begin, just wanna get over there, but I gotta go through my Discord channel first, like, uh, um, totally not advertising it. Yeah, there we go. Um, yeah, it, link in the description. So here is PC Building Simulator, and we're gonna go ahead and get straight into this game, and I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the main feature of this game, which is how to build a PC. So we're in how to build a PC mode. Let's go ahead and open up the case. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Gotta take off the backside panel as well. Now we gotta go ahead and install the power supply, but before we do that, we gotta actually, you know, take out the PSU bracket like any other regular computer. All right, we got that out of the way. Let's go ahead and check our inventory, grab our power supply, and as you can see, the game shows you what parts are consistent of the power supply, which is really nice if you don't know what's actually on a power supply if you've never messed with one before. So let's go ahead and install that, put it back on the bracket, and just like any other regular PC building tutorial, you gotta screw in the screws and all that. All right, we got that. Now, of course, we gotta go ahead and install the motherboard. Let's get this, and woo! Like I said, it labels out everything that is consistent in the parts that you're using to build this computer, like the chipset, CMOS, power, everything, literally. So let's install this, bam. But of course, like, you know, actually building a computer, you gotta go ahead and get the standoffs. Even though, personally, from my own experience, the standoffs would have already been in there. I guess, you know, this game is just teaching you good practice to make sure that your standoffs are in the case. But of course, we're gonna need those standoffs to actually screw in the motherboard, so let's get that. Now we also gotta, you know, connect up the power to our motherboard. There's the front I.O. connector. Here's the CPU power. All right, now we're gonna actually install the CPU. And this should be quite interesting. You know, we can do a little, there's all the pins, there's the chip itself, and let's install it. So we gotta open up that CPU shield first. Place that bad boy in there, close it, and right there it's gonna close the clamp down. Now of course, before we actually continue, we gotta install the thermal paste. So just click on it, that easy, dot method. And now for the CPU cooler, let's go ahead and pick up our inventory. So this is a stock cooler, and usually from my own experience, the thermal paste is already pre-applied on the stock cooler. However, you know, this is a game and it just wants you to make sure that you're conscious of those things. Now we got the graphics card. Yet again, a really nice detail and overview of what you're gonna be working with. But of course, before you do that, you gotta remove the PCI brackets. And let's install that. And it looks like this one doesn't have a power connector to it. Now we're gonna go ahead and install the memory. There we go, easy peasy. Of course, we gotta unhinge these latches here for the RAM. And we gotta go ahead and install the RAM. Now this is a bit interesting, but for actually installing the RAM on your own PC, you're actually gonna have to check the motherboard to see which slots you're gonna be putting the RAM in. But like I said, this, this is a game, so it's not gonna accurately represent every single motherboard out there. But for the most part, you should actually have to check your motherboard manual before you place your RAM sticks in because there's a certain way you gotta put them in for each brand. We have the hard drive. I mean, it should be really easy. You know, I mean, this PC building tutorial is going by very, very quick. So let's hook up the power, hook up the connection to the motherboard. It looks like we're gonna install a case fan. This should be one of the easiest parts. Just screw it in, right? I mean, as you can see, this is a very quick way to just to show you how to actually build a computer. It is quite spectacular. But now let's actually close up the computer, right? Got that, got the front side panel. And now, before we actually turn on the computer, we gotta hook up these back I.O. connections for our keyboard, mouse, and monitor. There's the power cable for our power supply. 
Now that's funny. I, one thing I'd expect from this game is to have that switch where the power supply is, right? Because you gotta have it on the line in order to turn it on. By default, it should be at the circle, right? But, you know, it's a game. And there we go. It's a game within a game. We just built a computer in like, what? Five minutes? I mean, that was quick. And from my own personal experience with actually building computers in real life, that I'd say is 90% accurate, maybe 80 to 90% accurate for what you'd actually do to build your own gaming computer. But I also wanna go ahead and show you some of the other cool things that this game can feature. So here we have a really cool career mode that is actually the real game portion of the PC building simulator. And uh, here it looks like uh, we got a big box. Let's pick it up. Ooh, objectives, PC status, right click. And uh, my game is lagging, excuse me. Do I, do I really? Okay, I see, I see your game. Your game will run at 4K on an R, on an R. <laughs> looks like here are our objectives for the computer. I want to say it looks like we're a PC technician and we're just fixing up computers. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. See what's up. PC can boot into OS, not plugged in. Let's let's get the first thing right out of the way. And ooh, let's go ahead and hook up our connections. Got that. Got that. You gotta insert a USB drive. So let's look, go on to install. Hit USB drive and look at that. Now we can actually power on the computer. So let's hover over here to the button. And there we go. Now we can move around, click this up, install the virus scanner. So let's go ahead and add program. You know, that's kind of funny. I mean, this isn't Windows, right? It looks kind of like Linux, but this is, I kind of like this OS. Of course, we got to restart like an actual computer. Ooh, okay. All right, let's run it. All right, uh, clean them. Yes, our computer is now protected. So it looks like we need to take off all the cables, right? Or no, we gotta actually power off the computer first. You don't wanna rip off the cables like that. That'd just be savage. Remove, actually, can we just like, oh, okay, there we go. Place it by the door. Collect your reward by going to your email. I assume that's this monitor right here. Okay, got something on our email. Ooh, thanks for taking the PC over to the shop, blah, 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 blah. I had to borrow $3, yeah, yeah. All right. Ooh, we got $100 for removing viruses. I wish real life was like that. I would not mind being paid $100 to remove a virus. All right, let's collect that. Hopefully we'll now not be in a deficit anymore. We'll be in the positive. Yes, we've leveled up a little bit. We just got, okay, good, good, good. We're getting more emails. Uh, more emails, more, I see, okay, I see. So it looks like you're gonna be like a tech technician, right? And you're gonna be doing certain things for people. So let's see, what does this guy want? He wants us to install a 500 gigabyte hard drive and you're gonna get paid $190 for that. You also have um, remove viruses, clean out dust, kind of more maintenance things, that's pretty cool. And he even wants you to install a graphics card. So this is the actual game mode of it. Oh, so you need to buy the components. Oh, so you gotta manage your money too. There you go. That's really cool. All right, that's in transit. I bet it's gonna take like a second to arrive here. But anyways, that's a little preview of the game and it's just simply gonna go further on from there, which is really cool to see because you're actually getting the game portion out of the simulator, right? Because it'd just be boring if it were just like a PC building simulator, right? So that's actually really cool. So let's go ahead and move on to the last thing I wanna show you guys today, which is the free build mode. All right, we're here in free build mode. I was tinkering around with this game before, like I said, and I built this beauty right here, which is a, I believe it's an i5 combined with a GTX 1080 Ti and an NZX S340 with some fans. And uh, actually, you can actually run PC 3D Mark Advanced Edition in game, which is really cool to see. But I want you guys to see something interesting. So I'm gonna go ahead and attempt to run this but i want you to watch something or maybe maybe it won't all right so i i i swear but before i actually had this computer running on a dt 1030 and this crashed in game like an actual blue screen came up whenever you're actually playing this game you will get realistic situations that'll happen whenever you whenever you build a computer like i got a blue screen in this game i don't know why it's not showing up but 
I think it's because I went with the GT 1030. So actually, let's change that real quick. Got to remove this. So let's go ahead and take off the graphics card cable. Remove this bracket right here. Let's see, we need to get right on the cable. There we go. Unplug. And let's go ahead and install a the 1030 I was talking about. Which, by the way, here's a whole catalog of parts you can choose from, right? You know, motherboards. You can go Threadripper, Ryzen all these different power supplies, cooling, you can even use aftermarket CPU coolers, just a lot of really cool stuff. But real quick, let's pick up that overkill GT 1030. There we go. We're just gonna leave the side panel exposed, right? There you go, it is on. And I wanna show you guys that blue screen. Blue screen, blue screen, blue screen. I don't know if we're gonna get a blue screen, that's interesting. I think that's probably because I switched out the motherboard with a Intel CPU rather than a Threadripper CPU. Here's another workbench. Here we have a Thermaltake case, which actually, you know, we can just start building in it right away. So like, let's say I wanna go with a Ryzen system, right? Install it. And of course, in Fuelbo mode, you can use any parts you want. You can troubleshoot, see where you wanna place your RAM sticks. And in a sense, basically build your own, like, computer you are gonna buy in real life and see how the performance is, right? With, say with like 3D Mark if you wanna install that. Let's go with a i7-8700. That's right, let's put that in. Thermal paste, plop that in. And let's finish off with, uh, you know, can we use onboard graphics? That'd be interesting. Let's finish off with an aftermarket CPU cooler. And by the way, as you can see, there's this fits this PC option. So this game has built-in compatibility. What components will work with certain things, say with your case or with your motherboard, which is very awesome. So let's install this Silverstone. Yep. And uh, I mean, I won't go any further, but right there, right, is how you just, just go ahead and start building your own system. But it looks like here we got a fire, a 3D Mark score. All right, uh, very impressive. We got <laughs> some of the best FPS scores I've seen in games so far, but you know, that's really cool. It does its own 3D Mark Time Spy Extreme benchmark in the actual computer itself, which I'm pretty sure grabs that from online, but that's really cool to see. But let's see, we can add and remove more programs, which is uh, will it run, lighting, ooh. You know, this is cool. So there's a lot of things that are offered in this simulator. So, I mean, if you are wanting to build your first gaming PC or your next one, and you wanna have an idea of what it's like to take those beginning steps and to do those troubleshooting options and other things to get your computer working, this simulator, I personally believe, will help you out a ton for just bridging that gap and really getting you familiar with what's gonna be expected to actually build your first computer. So that's why I really like this game. It's a one of a kind, it's on Steam, it actually doesn't take that much to run, which is really interesting. But anyway, so that is PC Building Simulator. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I personally did. This is something really cool that I feel like it's gonna help a lot of the PC building community. But anyways, make sure to like, favorite, subscribe, and all that, and this is the Scatable Channel, signing out.